The International Agency for Research on Cancer classified wood dust as carcinogenic to humans back in 1995. California's Office of Environmental Health Hazard Assessment added wood dust to the list of chemicals known to the state to cause cancer for purposes of Proposition 65 in 2009. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration reports that wood dust becomes a potential health problem when wood particles from processes, such as sanding and cutting, become airborne. The agency goes on to warn that in addition to cancer concerns, breathing these particles may cause allergic respiratory symptoms and mucosal and non-allergic respiratory symptoms. The extent of these hazards and the associated wood types have not yet been clearly established. However, western red cedar dust has been shown to cause asthma. OSHA also cautions that the health effects associated with wood dust come not only from the wood dust itself, but also from biological organisms, such as mold, which can grow on the wood. Exposure to various chemicals used in the processing of some types of wood and wood products are yet another health concern. In addition to the potential health effects of exposure to wood dust, it can also be a fire hazard and a combustible dust hazard under certain conditions. Fortunately, there are a number of ways to check a work environment for airborne wood dust. But the only way to be certain of excessive exposure levels is to monitor the air for wood dust and compare the results with the relevant occupational exposure levels. To protect workers, OSHA has set a permissible exposure limit and NIOSH has a recommended exposure limit. These are just a few of the many things to know about wood dust and potential exposure risks. To learn more about this or other industrial hygiene, indoor air quality, environmental health, or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.